we have an epidemic on our hands, fellas. We, uh, it's kind of an interesting year for 2020 because a lot of the games you're, that are coming out, for example, Animal Crossing New Horizons, I am, I don't know, well, I don't know about you, but I am, for one, really, really, really excited about this game. I can't wait to commit myself to being eternally in debt to Tom Nook again for, like, the fifth time or something like that. It's going to be a wonderful time. It was supposed to come out in 2019, right? But then it got delayed till March, which is fine and dandy. But here's the problem with this. There are a lot of games that are getting delayed. Almost all, if not all, of the big games are being delayed. I mean, let's just go through this list here and you'll see what I'm talking about. For starters, we have Doom Eternal, which I am excited about. I'm a little bit scared about, but I just did a video on that. You're more than welcome to go check that out if you want. But this game was supposed to also come out in holiday of 2019. It got delayed until March. Coincidentally, everything seems to be delayed until March, until more delays happen, but I'll get into that in a second. But that's not the point. The point is, is that this game, another big title that people were really looking forward to, got delayed into 2020. Let's keep going here on the list. Next up, we have Final Fantasy VII The Remake, which was supposed to come out in March. What, dude, seriously, March was going to be a huge month for games in 2020. But now, this game has been pushed back. Not too long of a pushback, but it also has now gotten delayed into the beginning of April. I think April 10th or something like that. Don't quote me for the exact date. But Final Fantasy VII Remake has also gotten a delay. And then if you look at other games like The Last of Us Part Two, which I was also, once again, really excited for, it got pushed back until May of this year. I haven't heard anything about that, but there's always a chance that it could get delayed again because Naughty Dog really wants to, you know, give that Naughty Dog quality, as they call it. But this was another big title that has been delayed. And it's getting worse because I just found out and realized that Cyberpunk 2077 has now been pushed back from April that it was set to come out this year. It's been pushed back now till September. And as if that was bad enough, we also have two more games that have also been delayed. The Avengers game has been pushed back to the holiday of 2020 this year. And Iron Man VR has been pushed back now as well. Once again, that one's not a huge delay, but it's almost all of the bigger titles have been delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed. And this isn't necessarily a bad thing. I think delaying a game is fine. Believe me, I would much rather have a quality finished product any day of the week than having a rushed, terrible product like this game right here. I don't want another anthem on my hands. It's not at all what I'm saying. But at the same time, we need to have less delays. You can't just keep delaying all of these games. It's hard to plan your schedules around, guys. If you're a big video gamer like myself, you need to have some structure. You need the time to plan these games accordingly. You need the time to prepare to get your wallets. And the more you push a game back, the more I tend to forget about that game. Now that Cyberpunk's coming out in September, I'm worried that I'm never going to have the chance to play it because I already know for a fact that there's going to be a lot of games coming out in September and you have two new consoles coming out, that my budget, when, you know, September comes around, I don't know if I'm going to be able to play Cyberpunk and that's kind of disheartening a little bit. And it wouldn't be a big deal if I were a, you know, only one console type of gamer where I only stuck to one platform, but I'm a juggler, baby. I juggle my consoles left and right. I have two Xbox Ones. I have three Nintendo Switches. Yes, you heard me right. Three Nintendo Switches, one of which is being borrowed by my wife's family. I have a GameCube. <laughs> I don't know why I said GameCube. That's not relevant at all right now, but I do also have a PlayStation 4, and I play games on my laptop. I love gaming and I love, I even have a 3DS. I still play games traditionally on my 3DS, like one or two only at this point, probably this whole year I'll play. But I do jump into that as well. I love having variety and I get all the exclusives, baby. I take the PlayStation Zones and I take the Xbox Ones, which 
let's face it, those aren't really exclusives at this point. And I take the Nintendo Switch ones, and I try my best to play them all. And when games keep getting pushed back, and they all start to conglomerate at the end of the year, like you have the Avengers, and you have Cyberpunk, and you have the PlayStation 5, and you have the Xbox One Series X, seriously, what a terrible title, I start to get overwhelmed, and I know that some things have to get the axe. I can't play all the games. And when games get delayed, it only makes that matter worse. But trust me, trust me when I say I get it. I would always, always, always rather have a delayed game that's a nice finished product than having a rushed out pile of crap like Fallout 76. And every day of the week I would love a polished game and if it took an extra two years to do it, so be it. But it's just kind of my hope going forward that games Instead of just announcing them a little bit prematurely, make sure you have a quality, finished product, and then announce the release date. And then you can have that extra few months or whatever, even if it's an extra six months, even if it's an extra year, to super polish it, double check, triple check it. You know what I'm saying? Because then that way I can have it in my calendar, because I also keep a calendar of all the game release dates. And it's getting really irritating having to cross out all these games and having to replace them in my calendar. So that is just my opinion, though. I would love to know what you guys think about the delayed apocalypse that has kind of been plaguing 2020 right now. Do you think this is a trend going forward that is going to be a very common occurrence? Because it certainly seems like it. Or do you think it's just because of all of these highly anticipated games and you think the developers and publishers want to make sure they get it just right? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And that is it for me. I am Bradley Overrated, out like a trout, and have a good one. And... I'm actually gonna go play the GameCube now. <laughs> I just now that I talked about it, I kinda kind of in the mood for some good old classic gaming action. So have a good one guys.